Hi there, Toy here, and it's time to see what I read in July. So I did not get a lot of reading in July that I could actually count towards my um, Goodreads challenge, but that's okay. I mean, if you're following along, you know that I'm not really that dedicated to the challenge this year. And um, if you hear some thunder, that's because there's a storm coming, trying to get this done before then. So this is my wrap up. And if you want to see the reviews of the books I'll be talking about, be sure to visit my Lit Carnival channel for that. I, th I think it's actually Carney the Bookworm is the channel that it's on. So anyway, let's actually see what I read in July. So um, I actually started a lot of stuff and did some special projects, which all kind of took away from my ability to complete a lot of things. I started a new position at my job, which took a lot more time to kind of transition into, which again, took up some of my time. So my book club, my, my IWSG book club read was actually Cloud Atlas. And that's actually a book that I've read before. Now I've reread books before and counted them towards the challenge. The thing is, is I started reading Cloud Atlas again, but I didn't finish it. And it's not that I didn't want to, it's just, it is a long book and I had a lot going on and I kind of let myself use that excuse of, I've already read this book. And so that was on me. So I could have finished it. I just didn't. So that one doesn't get counted. Uh, let's see what else. I read, I actually started to read a um, unsigned arc. That means that um, doesn't have a publisher yet. The person is getting feedback on it. And so I can't really count that either. I, I don't usually worry about the arcs that I read, but this one took some time. And so like, I feel like because I was reading that, <laughs> it took some time away from reading books that count towards my list. But whatever. I do it all the time. I read ARCs for people because I like the idea of being able to give feedback and maybe someday if I need an ARC reader, I'll get one, you know? Let's see what else. So actually stuff that I started, there is one more thing that I did start and didn't finish, which I'm actually going to do something special with that in a minute and I'll talk about it, is a graphic novel called um, Cthulhu is Hard to Spell, The Terrible Twos. Uh, I have picked up and put this down several times in um, digital form, but I totally forgot that I actually ordered the print. So since I have the print form, I'm like, hmm, what can I do with that? That's coming up. All right, so let's see here. I actually started and completed four things in the month of July, which considering everything that's going on, I think that's pretty good. So um, the first one that I read was Trench... Tristan Strong punches a hole in the sky. I gave that a five stars and I'll be doing the review on the Lit Carnival channel with all my other reviews, but I'm actually going to do something special with this book that I've never done before and I'm going to do a spoiler review for that one because I want to talk about it with people, but none of my friends read. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about it with you guys. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. A lot of people don't like reading or watching spoiler reviews, but I got to get this out of my system. And yes, you just heard Margie coming in. What you doing, honey? No? Yeah? Okay. So <laughs> the next thing I read was Girl Who Talks to Ghosts. This is the second in a series that I started last month from an author whose blog I follow. She's she's wonderful. And I ended up giving this one five stars. I believe I gave the first book five stars too. Um, it's really good and I'll get more into that in the review video. Next thing I read was a picture book, but not a children's book. This is A Sloth's Guide to Mindfulness. And the review for this one is gonna be kind of tough. You'll have to see it um, because, like I said, it's a picture book, but it's not a children's book. And it's kind of about, like, meditation, which it's not really for everyone. So, I don't know. I think it's, you have to, you'll have to see the review on my other channel if you want to. I ended up giving it four stars, though. It was a good book. And the last thing that I started and completed in the month of July was an anthology called Mystery Follows Her. And I actually found out about the anthology because of one of the contributing authors, 
is an author that I follow and I really enjoy her work and that's Ellen Jacobson so she has a story in there and I discovered all these new authors I really enjoyed it I ended up giving it a four stars so that's what I read in the month of July I am very far behind in my <laughs> Goodreads challenge, but I mean, I knew I was going to be, so I'm not like heartbroken about it. I haven't actually posted these reviews yet. I'm going to post them um, right after I do the review video here in just a minute. But um, if I include those books, I am still six books behind my schedule, um, which is 75 books in the for the whole year. I'm at um, 34 plus 4 so 38 basically and I, I I am counting titles um some people see that challenge goal of 75 and think that I'm reading 75 novels um no <laughs> uh, I am reading a lot of novels but I'm also reading graphic novels and picture books and you know anthologies and stuff like that so that's 75 titles that I may or may not get to but that's where I am and I'm pretty excited about what I have lined up for the month of August I used to do a thing where I would tell you ahead of time what I was gonna read and then when I wouldn't read it I would feel really bad so I don't do that anymore <laughs> but I know what I'm planning to read I'm over you've already heard, heard because you know that I've started these books and haven't finished them so they'll get read in the month of August so anyway that's what I read in July. Um, remember, check out the Carney the Bookworm channel if you want to see my reviews. And that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.